So now we are talking about the uh, skip logics. Uh, as we saw before, we have some options here in the settings. Um, for each question, you would have question option, skip logic and validation criteria. We're going to focus in skip logic and validation criteria now. So for example, this question I have here, uh, do you have kids? Uh, it's a single select question. It can be either yes or not. And, and then I want that if you say yes, I want to ask you how many boys do you have? And then I will add another one. How many girls do you have? And like this, um, this question will not be asked if you don't have kids, right? So the thing is that this question is related to this one. And then what we can do is in configuration here, settings, we go to skip logic and then we add one condition. What is the condition? The condition is that do you have kids have to be equal to yes in this case. And then if we go to the preview the form, name of the person, you can just type whatever you want. Do you have kids? No. Then you don't get any question. Yes. How many boys? And then you can type three. And then all is good, is valid. Right? So now that we have done that, uh, this is um, um, uh, um, one of the things that you can do with the select. Uh, let's say that here you say other. Or you say, I don't know. Right? This is the other question. So, or, or, I don't know, or other, or whatever. Let's say other, just for the shake of it. So then you can type here, usually you would type another, like if other specify, right? And the way to do this question appear only if this is here is that way. This would be a text, right? A text question. And then what you do is that you type here, skip logic, add a criteria question is like, do you have kids equal other, right? So you could say yes, no, and then here in other, you can say like, it's complicated, for example. So name of the person, Iker. Do you have kids mm, other, specify, it's complicated, right? And then you can validate and it's good. So this is if other specify is very useful when you have a list of choices, multiple or single, doesn't matter. And you don't know all of them or you want to give the, the enumerators a chance to, to do another one. For example, if you're going to visit 10 villages, you write them down in a list and they can choose one or the other one. But I would always put like other just in case they go to another village because you change plans last minute, you don't have to, to do everything again. And then you can change that in the data analysis. But if you have a compulsory question with only yes or not, you have to say yes or not. You cannot have it blank. You cannot have it other. But in this case, you can have this. And then the next thing on the question is the validation criteria. So if we take this, uh, how many boys? Uh, let's say less than 18 years old. Okay. We can do a validation criteria. What is it? We have to say that if you tell me that you have um, kids, um, let's say boys, you have to have either zero or more than zero. You cannot have minus three boys. So the question has to be greater or equal to zero in this case. And then you can write here an error message. Uh, number between zero and let's say 20. And then we have to add another condition. It has to be less than or equal to 20. Okay. And then the question should match all of these criteria. It means that between zero and 20. Okay. If you would have any of these criteria, anything bigger than zero or anything smaller than 20 would match. So that would be a little bit of a stupid criteria. But if you put all of these criteria, it means that to zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 20, it's okay. Right. And then we can again, go back and check. Eager, do you have kids? Yes. How many boys? I have 
34 boys. No, 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 you cannot. I have minus one boy. No, I have zero, nine boys. Yeah, nine, it's okay. And there you go. So this is a, a validation criteria. Uh, you could have skip logics and validation criteria that are more like manually enter, like here you can add with the button or you can add manually. I don't recommend using the manually one if you're reading this, uh, if you're seeing this series, it means that you are not like super, super proficient with this. So maybe it's better not to mess it up. Um, another one is that, uh, as, as I have been seeing, uh, showing you most of the time, we can, we can come always to the preview form and have the form preview. It's very, this is very interesting, especially when we are going to, to be doing like long forms, more complex forms. So you make sure that all your, all the form has like a, a same sequence and everything works and uh, the, the, the data, I mean, it looks like you want it. There's nothing misspelled. And then that the, everything that you select is coming and, and the numbers and numbers and, and everything. So you have to come every now and then and, and, and check for that. Uh, in the, the the preview, which is uh, in the edit form, you will have here the the preview form. Okay. Uh, next in 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 the line is the groups. Um, it's very good to have uh, sometimes your questions grouped in groups. I'm going to show you an example here from the tree monitoring. Maybe I presume they should have form in groups. So we have a, a form that is structured in four groups. The first one is introduction. So how do you create this? Is that you have to select questions, you click in one, you control, and then you keep on clicking while holding the control in different ones, right? So in this case, I have, uh, I have this one, this one, and this one selected, this first three, and then you click in create group with selected questions, and then you create a, a group. This is a working uh, form, so I'm not going to keep it like this, but you can create the, the, the group, and then if you want, you can also delete the group. And then are you sure you want to split apart this group? When you split apart the group, you don't delete the questions, you just get them out of the group, and the questions are just still here, right? Uh, what is this good for? Uh, imagine that I have uh, a question here. Do this interview. Do you want to do this interview? Add a question, it can be a select. So this is like, a, for example, a, an informed consent. No, okay. And um, when we have the group created, the group itself will have uh, um, settings, right? So this group, for example, it can have its own settings. You can show all the questions in this group at the same screen, like in a, in a, in a if you have a big screen that makes that may make sense, so you don't have to be scrolling up and down all the time. Or repeat this group if necessary, which we will show later on. Uh, but also, interestingly, you have the skip logic. So you can do a skip logic for the whole group. So you don't have to do a skip logic question by question. But for example, this a group introduction, I could add a question that will be, do you want to do this interview? Equal yes. So I will only ask this group zero if they say yes here. These other ones I'm going to do anyway. I haven't put any any sort of skip logic. So let's see the form. Up. Let's preview. And then sure enough, now we don't have we don't have the introduction. Right? We have not the introduction. When we click do you want to do this interview, the whole group comes in. And then you can do it. So this is interesting, for example, if, 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 if I was going to ask you, like, do you have a latrine? If you say no, then I have a group that is called latrines, latrine questions, that I don't ask you because you don't have a latrine. Instead of having to say no, 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 question by question, 
so it will save you time I'm going to delete with the bottom here okay and I'm going to now when I delete it the con the condition is gone because the the question that was pending it's gone as well and another thing that you can do with groups is you you can have repeated groups like name for example let's say that we have name and last name add question text and we 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 select click control and click while clicking control and then we group them and this is family member names right okay so we have this group that is called family member names and what we're going to do is click in repeat the group if necessary and let's see how it looks like Now we will have all this introduction, user data, wash, sanitation, user, but this is the group that interests to us. So name, my name is Iker, my last name is Montes. And then I can add somebody else. Pepe Grillo. And then Juana de Arco. So you can keep adding more and more people within the same question until you are finished, right? And then all of this will be in this, the same paragraph, so do say. And then you can validate, sure, it's, it's good. And this is how you do repeating, repeating groups. This is obviously good for family members, like, uh, and things like that. So you can get all the names and all the things in one go. I'm going to delete the group and this will split them apart. So as I don't want this one, I can delete and I can delete. And furthermore, what I'm going to do is don't save this form, just leave the form. 